uh, yin and yang here a little bit. With uh, I'm going to talk about Nico, uh, and and Wags will talk about Al, and then I just want to tell one story. But Nico was a transcendent player for us because the point of when Nico came to UH, UH was we were starting to get our momentum in 1980. We were starting to beat good people. We started right away being competitive. We were starting to beat good people. And the fans were coming out in great numbers. And during the time that Nico played, the attendance just went off the chart. Every game. And he, in my mind, and the guys that he played with were a tremendous reason why while that occurred, because he had a passion for playing, a passion to be a great teammate, and was an unbelievably hard worker. Uh, both he and Al came from Farrington High School, and we, UH has had many, many great players from Farrington High School. Again, it was such an honor to, to coach Nico and Al and Pete, and I love these guys, and they're just about as good of young people as you can imagine. I want to shout out to Pete also. I was a uh, defensive coordinator, but I was actually Pete's position coach for a year. Uh, and, and he was a heck of a player in his own right and came the farthest. These guys were pretty good players right away. When they got on the field, you know, we had to coach them up a little bit, but uh, they, they were real good right from the scratch. So I want to holler at Pete as well. But, uh, you, know, you know, Dick and I, I think, really both uh, uh, we were rewarded by Al's play, helped us, you know, help you get a new job, help me get a new job. I mean, really, uh, Al's, Al's junior year, I mean, there's a couple of NFL players they talk about, they move them around, they play with tackle, they play with ends. Al's junior year, he played nose guard against BYU, he played defensive end against New Mexico, he, you know, he played over the tackle, he played over the guard, uh, he, you know, and he was dominant. I mean, we put him where he, to make the uh, the biggest difference, played with great passion. I, I was uh, so touched by, uh, I wasn't at the luncheon yesterday, but for the success that they've all had, and uh, you know, I'm talking about an hour right now, for him to be so emotional. I mean, been a first team All American. Uh, I still have the picture where he was on the Bob Hope show, I mean, back in the day. And, uh, you know, it, he, I think, was more emotional than I've ever seen you know, when he, you know, accepted being honored to be in the, uh, the, the Hall of Honor here at the University of Hawaii. But, uh, yeah, great young man, played with great pride, and uh, we're really followers uh, back today. So, uh, go ahead, and sure. I want to just say one more thing. Uh, I, I want to tell one story about the Nongas, and this is a story about Pete. And all these guys played the same way. And we're playing Fresno State. We never lost to Fresno State. They, we tied one time. This particular year, we tied in Fresno. It was 106 at kickoff. It was an afternoon game. The game is going on. Jim Sweeney's the coach at Fresno State. Pete goes over to the sideline to make a tackle on the sideline, runs all the way across the field. And Jim Sweeney yells at him, how do you like the heat, Nonga? And Pete jumps up and he said, I love it, coach. Turn it up. So that's the way these guys play. Thank you very much. Let's call up Nico.